What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. All right, guys, been away for a while, and I apologize for that. Just want to give you a rundown of what I've been doing. Don't want to get into it too much, but, um, you know, I had a couple of people email me, like, hey, Chris, you all right? Did something happen to you? I was like, no. Um, just like everybody else, the weather's starting to break. We've been doing some things around the house, um, you know, doing a little remodeling in one of the bathrooms. So, you know, just outdated stuff, um, which, incidentally, that's what I've done here in my computer room slash... Uh, man cave, mini man cave, uh, you know, so on and so forth. So I'll give you a quick rundown about that. Um, it got to the point where uh, the room that I'm in is like a small five by five room. It's not very big. It's like five foot four one way and five foot the other. Very small, but it's kind of cool because I got the door. I can just close the door and I'm secluded from the rest of the house. It's kind of sweet that way. Um, so I can make these recordings for you guys. So um, it got to the point, though, this is a utility room. It's got all kinds of junk in it, and it's got stuff in there I've had for, well, since I've lived here, which is about 11 years. Uh, well, not built up that long, but you get the idea. Um, I've got a lot of electronic stuff in here that I, I have, like soldering iron, so on and so forth. And it got to the point where it just got too cluttered and too dirty. So I decided to get rid of all of it. But let me give you <laughs> this is what it looked like. Um, this is what it looked like. You can see my soldering gear and all kinds of the stuff. And i got stuff hanging on the walls, light bulbs, all kinds of other stuff. And um, the uh, Actron... Uh, obd2 scanner for your car you can clear the codes and everything else and just basic stuff laying all over the place i got to the point where i got tired of it i mean i was using these little shelves you can see the stackable shelves little seagram sevens whatever the heck they are um and there's one over here i had my computer resting on now, i've only had this computer for about i'm guessing a couple years and um uh i just said you know what enough is enough i decided to just take all of this out um disconnect all electronics because i got the radio gear under here as well and i've got everything wired and you can see just a bunch of cluster of crap um i got to the point i said you know enough is enough so i took it all out um you know and decided to build a bench for it a buddy of mine said hey look i've got a uh, kitchen countertop if you're interested in it and it was like um uh, i forget what it was it was like six foot long or something like that i said that's fine uh, i wanted something smooth but bright as well so this way here makes the room brighter um so we decided to do that here it is. You can see all the wires that be coming in. You got the phone line. I've got this wire that goes to a small power supply under the bench that uh, I've got hooked up to a thermostat that I put in this room. And when it gets warm enough to wherever you want to have it set, it'll kick on. A, uh, I put a fan right inside the door, built into the door. So when it comes on, it sucks air under the door. Uh, therefore helping the computer because the PC is under the bench. So, uh, and it, it draws quite a bit of air. Um, but this is the end result. This is what we ended up with. And uh, I'm really happy about it. I basically did all of this on my own. And I'm, I'm happy that I did it because it just needed to be revamped bad. Um, every one of these, you can see I've got the uh, my 2 meter 440 modified 7100 Yezu 70, 7100. I've got my 10 meter through 12 meter RCI 20, uh, 2950. Um, and these switch boxes here are all, you know, all working. Everything works here. This is like a master sh switch to power these three. Uh, this one here will power the 35, uh, 35 uh, amp Astron power supply. This small one here powers up uh, a smaller one. It's like a little three amp, but it's got a built-in cigarette lighter. So if you've got anything like a GPS or anything you want to power up or charge like that, you can do that. Um, and uh, it also powers up the fan for the door and so so on and so forth so and this little one here at the end uh, that's for my audio system that's also underneath the bench and uh this one here is pretty much straight and cut too this is the master and then all of these power up this one's for the main computer the main pc uh this is for the big uh hd monitor right here it's only like a 24 inch but being only two feet away it's plenty big enough um this one right here it's not what it says it is it says printer no it's actually powers up this laptop uh this one here will um uh powers up the small monitor and this one here has a fan uh it's like over my head it just points it's over this monitor rather and it points at me so if i need some extra you know free uh, fresh air so i want a uh, cooler air just get a breeze in here that's fine uh, so it works pretty well and you know here's the power supply i was just talking about nice and neatly put my normal my uh, regular pc or the main pc rather um and you get the small this one this one's funny because this this uh, amplifier this small it's uh you can't see the speaker there's one here and there's one over here but because it's around uh, the side of this pc you can't see it um but anyway it's made by tandy corp and if anybody knows anything about tandy corp this thing's got to be 30 years old and guess what still functions beautifully i wish everything was built that, that way today um and you can see this little tiny black handle it's actually a little uh it's made for automotive but it's an automotive just an equalizer and what i do is i just put two um uh, 12 volt power supplies you can just plug in the wall little adapters and i've got a apc backup power supply so if i'm making videos the power goes out i can still you know finish it up and be done with it um 
because I took the battery out and put a bigger battery so it actually has more of a uh, uh, lifespan, so to speak, on the charge. But end result is, you can see it, um, everything seems to work fine now. You can see the strap from the camera got in the way on this picture, but um, I've got everything backed up. I've, I used the, um, I got a 500 gig hard drive that I've, uh, external hard drive that I actually back up my computer. I backed it all up. So if anything goes wrong with it, you know, we're back on and rocking and rolling. I've got this uh, laptop doing the same. I can actually uh, make videos with that. Um, and I can be doing work on one computer and working on another. And this way we're not, you know, uh, taxing one of the computers, meaning it's doing it all. So it gives me a chance to do different things. And, you know, so it works out pretty well. Um, but here's the end result. I'm not going to, you know, bore you guys with too much more of this. Uh, we'll just go ahead and get out of that. Um, but anyway, I wanted to get to this. Um, uh, I just want to let you guys know what I was doing. And, you know, um, so now we're back. So let me get to the video itself, <laughs> the um, uh, the picture I want to show you guys. Again, I don't take any credit for finding this stuff. This is from uh, UFO Evidence 101, I believe he's called. And I've made videos on him as well. So I don't take any credit for finding this. Um, here is his video right here, and you can see that. So you think there is no uh, residence on Mars. Satellite images from NASA show evidence. And you can see UFO evidence 101. He's done this. Now, I've, let me see when this was put on there. This is uh, June 9, 2013. And I'll leave a link for it in the bottom so you guys can check this out. Check out all his videos. I don't think he gets enough recognition. I think, you know, some people go, well, you know, I'm not seeing it. Well, he he does a great job of enhancing this these uh, this particular area because he kind of goes around a little bit over um, more into this detail over here as well as some in the back. What I did was I went a step further too. I did my own enhancement, but I put it in black plate and then enhance it so we could try to find try to filter out some of the garbage because people laugh at this guy too. Let me backtrack because people laugh. They go, look at this lower right corner, Google Earth. They go, oh yeah, yeah right, dude. That makes a lot of sense. Well, it does. I mean. Google Earth, anybody who is familiar with Google Earth knows that you can have, a, there's a little screen at the top, you can, it just, it's a drop down screen, it says Mars, the moon, and I think several others, I think, I'm not sure, but um, you guys get the idea, I mean, you know, this is what got me, when I seen this picture, I just had to jump into this, when I seen this piece right here, I said, what the hell would do that in nature, and then you see this piece going over here, it looks like it surrounds the whole area, and I'm going, whoa, is it nothing more than just rocks and uh, I don't know. So I decided to dig and I'm, I'm kind of glad I did. Um, you can see like everything that has, it's almost like anything they want to filter out or get rid of, they, it's highly contrasted. Why isn't anything else like this? Well, there's a reason. This stuff is being, there's, a, there's another picture or something being thrown over. Um, I don't know if they're individually doing each spot, and, you know, because they do have quite a bit of these uh uh, CGI people or, you know, people that do graphics, computer graphics and stuff. They have a team of these people, like 100, 200 people. So, you know, these go through painstaking areas. They just blotch everything out. Um, and look at, I mean, you can see something right there. There's something right there coming down and going like this. And then it sprawls out over here. You see it? Something round goes down, comes down here and goes over to here. But there's much more things in here. There's, it's just bizarre. Um, you're going to see this area right here turns into something totally different. Uh, yeah. So... Let's get out of that. I'm going to jump to the, um, I'm going to go ahead and jump to that. Here's the picture, and obviously, um, <laughs> this is awesome. Now, I'm going to show you what I did. I'm just going to jump to the black plate because I don't want to make this super long. I already tied up some of it because of the uh, showing you the pictures that I've got. Now, when you see this, you just go, whoa, what? If this stuff doesn't look like some kind of structures in here, I mean, it looks like they've been, it almost looks like it branches off a little bit too over here. It looks like this weird shaped object with something around, like a dome sitting right on top of it. What does that? Even here, it looks like there's something standing up here. And again, you try to do the best you can to, to bring down the brightness or the contrast of these certain super whited areas. And just have a look at it, guys. When you look at these things, look at this in the back, right there. Looks like all these domed and, and weird st shaped uh, structures. Look at they're clustered together. And I believe, excuse me, I believe there's a lot more here in, in this black area and these blackened areas. Now, some people have claimed, they well, not claimed, but they say, why don't we get to see anything of any value like super clear quality? Well, I don't know. Um, if we were looking at uh, Earth and everybody just disappeared, let's say you got a well-groomed lawn, your house is clean, pristine, um, give it 200 years sitting there by itself. Nobody maintaining it, nobody manicuring it, nothing. Give it about 200 years and tell me what it looks like. 
Um, you're going to have stuff overgrown. Plants and trees will come up through the concrete. I mean, so on and so forth. So, of course, we don't know any time frame. It's all pure speculation and, you know, uh, conjecture. You know that. Um, but there's some things in there that are just bizarre. Here's a, here's a good point. Look at this. If you take a good look, there's one, two, three things going into this. There's four, five. They darken out certain areas and keep things super bright in contrast so you don't see these objects. Look right here. One, two, three, four, and it goes off. But I'm not going to get into every individual thing here. This is just crazy. There's just so much here to see. It's it's insane. What you need to do is grab your uh, magnifier and get into these things. Now, I want to show you guys something here. Where is this other picture again? If you look back here, you don't see much of anything. Where is this? Uh, right in the back here, there's something. I don't know if you guys can see this. Whoops. See, I actually cut off some of this picture, which I really didn't want to do. Um, because I want to just show you, I wasn't exactly sure in the video where I got this. Because I had this in my YouTube for, oh, good Lord, maybe a couple months. But right here, you can see something right here. And some other, whatever these objects are laying around. And you can see something right here. There's a shape of something right here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Right here, going like this, up and over. And then it goes back down. This, I mean, you can just see these shapes of things just laying around. What is this? Have a look at it. Check it out with your uh, magnifying glass. You're going to find out there's much more in this picture than meets the eye. Um, and it's just really bizarre. Again, this round thing, something coming off it, something coming down, going across. Look at how it's nice and smooth. doesn't look that way because of the pitches. It's really piss poor, and they had their way with it. Here's the same area right here. Right in this area. Here's that same one I was telling you just now. You can see this long piece going up. These look like structures of whatever they may be. But look at this right here. Look at how this nice area is right here. You can just see it like it's been, like it looks like roadways, looks like structures, looks like, look at the way these things come down. I mean, oh my God. Yeah, there's just so much in this thing to see. What you need to do is take a magnifying glass and just really get into this thing. Look at this. Look at this area right here. And what looks like a giant structure sitting right there. What does that? Looks like roadways. Look at this. Going all the way down. What does this? And again, check this out. <laughs> this is just bizarre. I mean, I see things I, I didn't even notice before. Look at this right here. Look at the way these things, like, what, you know, I mean, really. All these little structures are all clustered together. I tried my best to bring down the contrasted areas. And it's, it's just, like I said, they try to make things darker, super bright. You're none the wiser. And here's another thing that I thought was really bizarre. It looks like part of the ground's been ripped up. You see that right there? Right here, it looks like this flap. It looks like it's got this 90-degree angle, comes up, goes around, comes back down. But when you look into this picture or look into this area, it looks like there's something underneath it. And it looks like, look at see, it looks like it has a square area, like this lid would come down on it. I don't, it's just bizarre. I mean, <laughs> look at this, up here. One, two, three, something right. And I'll understand people go, well, these things would have to be pretty large. And I agree. They probably are, but also keep in mind, because we're not seeing anything of great detail, we're doing our best to try to bring this out, there may be multiple things standing here, not just one, two, three, but there may be two or three in each of those spots. We don't know. It's it's hard to tell. But just have a look in this area right here. You can see that these, you know, obviously this is a satellite picture. This is not going to be simple rocks. Rocks is something you can hold in your hand. These would not be rocks. So when you look at these things, and again, look at this. Looks like you got something standing up right here. Looks like it's got a square top to it. Looks like it's standing up. Uh, multiple little things that they did their best to block out. And I'm going to go back to that area right now. Here's that will look like that lid sticking up right there. It looks like nothing. It looks like complete garbage. But when you get into this, check it out. It looks like it has shape to it. Like there's something more to it than just, you know what I mean? It's, I don't even, oh. Let's jump down to this area. I want to show you this area here in this picture. Just to give these guys some comparisons of what they're trying to block. See, now, look at just That's a big, just a big cluster. It's con highly contrasted, so you can't see anything. And it's grainy. That's the problem. But when you take the graininess out, just have a look. Look around the pictures. Look at this. Things coming off. Look at this. This is, this is pretty cool. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a bunch of little ones going this way. 
Look at this. Look at the way this thing zigzags. One, two, three, four. <laughs> There's one, two, three corners. Actually, four. There's one, two, three, four. It goes up, goes into there. Yeah, I mean, we don't even know. I mean, some people go, well, how could those be structures? They don't look like structures. In what way are you referring to the ones we have here on Earth? What makes us think that they would construct it the same way we do ours? It, we don't know. Um, is something way in the back right here. It is just a ton of stuff. And this is what, again, this is what's really cool. I mean, I looked at this thing and I'm going, look at the way this thing runs around this whole area. And this is stuff is plastered with stuff everywhere. I mean, just look at this. One, two, next to each other. One, two, three in a row. Now, let's let's go th throw a little shopping in here. See what we can do here. Let's get a, see if we can get some extra love out of this. Let's go down to shop and yeah, we'll do a little smart shop and see what that does. Okay. Now, again, well, I guess we can leave it right there, right? Let's do that. You can see these things, one, two, three in a row, one, two, standing up. I mean, these things that have to be, well, I wouldn't say super large, but good size. And when you look at these things, oh, my God, they're, look at them. They're like clustered together. They're not just simple nothings. And you can see part of these go back into this docker area. That tells me there's something more in this docker area that they're hiding. Uh, that's all that's the only conclusion i can come to um you look down here now a lot of this is really hard to see nothing more, more because you're looking directly down at it uh where these are more angled and you can see them a little bit better but have a look at this picture guys tell me what you think because i think you're going to find there's some really bizarre stuff in here look at this way in the background here the upper right look at this i don't know what does that but it has this weird almost like a side window of a structure or, or vehicle or of course, that would have to be a really large vehicle compared to the rest of it. But I'm just saying, if you were to try to picture like an oval window, an opening of some sort, and then it comes down right here, and there's two things on top of that. I mean, it's just these little subtle things that you see in these pictures. You just question, okay, I understand I don't know what the object is. I don't. I, you know, people say, well, it's pareidolia. Well, how can it be pareidolia if I'm not, I don't know what the hell it is? <laughs> it's not like I'm saying, look, a bunny in the clouds. I don't know. And I just realized this now. I'm looking at this shape of this thing again. It goes like here has this piece that comes down, goes across. But look at this. It also goes back here, goes over to here. There's something white in the back here. Look at one, two, three. Some white flattened out area right here with something on top of it. I don't know, guys. There's something more going on in this picture than meets the eye. And I just love this kind of stuff. I mean, look at this. This does not look like just a regular bunch of boulders laying around. It looks like something you would see a city or a town or something. It looks like something more to it. Um, but again, as always, you guys get the last word. You can tell me what you think about it. Um, when you go from that picture there to this one, yeah, this is all pretty and colorful and all, but it doesn't do a bit of good if you can't see what's really in the picture. Now, just to give you another comparison compared to this one. And there's so much laying around here, uh, here, here. I mean, just have a look at this thing, guys, and you'll be amazed. Um, check out this video, like I said, and check out UFO Evidence 101. Uh, you know, I've, I've looked at a couple of videos and I'm just going, wow, he is, he's got a good eye. I mean, there's no doubt he's got a really good eye. Look at even down here. Look at all, look at all these structures. What look like structures down in here. It looks like a, a, a wooded area. Um, I believe a lot of these are trees, but it's also manipulation, obfuscations. But I think this, you know, you go to any countryside, you're going to see a bunch of what looks like structures. Look what does that. Look at this. Let me just go ahead and get this little dropper and make it as a pointer. But look at one, two, three, four, one. I mean... One, two, three. I mean, they're just hidden in there. Highly contrasted. Why are they highly contrasting these things? There's a reason for it. They don't want you to see any detail in them. Because if you do, well, guess what? It's going to pretty much say it all. So that's the reason why when I look at this thing, this is the first thing that struck me weird, man. I'm just going, what the hell is that? I, I don't know. But this area here, let me see if I can find this on this picture here. I'm almost positive. Right here. This right here has this weird U-shaped piece. Now, I don't know if there's multiple pieces. And then it goes into this darkened area and it doesn't look like much of anything. Kind of like this other piece that looked like, like I said, this weird lid. Looks like it's been torn off. Now, you can see something's under here, right here. And it's covered. Now, is it covered with trees? Is it covered with, uh, I don't know, call it a moss. Call it whatever you like. But you can, you know, clearly see this. Whatever this thing is has a radius going up to it. And you can see there's several pieces laying here. I don't know. Uh, you know, like I said, you look in the back, there's just things in here that don't look like just standard giant boulders. And in the upper left, 
they just don't look that way. Is it? Uh, it looks like some of these structures are perfectly intact, no problems, and then some of them look like they've been tossed about a little bit and doesn't look like uh, uh, it's in one piece, so to speak. But is it because stuff's just overgrown around it, which is a good possibility, hiding most of the features of it or the real good details of it? I don't know. There's something in here that looks like they may and try to get that out. Look at this. Whatever this huge thing is right here, you can see something right there, like this U-shape, whatever that is, laying right here. It's like they try to do their best to put something in, uh, try to make it unclear so you cannot see what the hell this stuff is. And I'm still bizarre. This, I just find this really odd. Look at this. And it looks like it goes over, and then there's stuff that goes under. I don't know. Again, guys, give me your take on it. I don't want to make this super, super long because, uh, yeah, um, I'm glad to be back and get these things rocking here for you guys. Um, I'm also going to be doing... Um, some just normal everyday videos, uh, not so much of Mars, but I'm going to do it on my Chris M. In fact, I've got one uh, I'm going to do here shortly, uh, a video on, um, you know, maybe a backup power supply in case of power goes out. Both uh, um, one of these little Midland radios with the hand crank power. Um, I'm going to do a little, uh, uh, you know, just give you a, an overall description of it and it's it and the reason why you should have one. Um, and I also got a, like a little tinker toy I put together uh, just from pots laying around. I think you guys will like, so check that out too. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you rock and roll. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get out of here myself. I've got some other things I've got to do and some other videos to make. Um, so uh, I'm glad to, um, I'm glad to be back, get everything back together, and um, get everything rocking. I mean, what else is there to say? But anyway, guys, again, thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me up on the um, uh, the broadcast. Uh, I don't know if you guys caught me on uh, Will's, but I, Will was having a problem trying to do the Google Plus thing, and I tried to get on there to help him out, and we end up talking about different things, and it turned into a broadcast. So you could check that out on his page as well. We were just kind of kicking it back and forth, and I think it was, um, you know, it was like an hour and 40 minutes, whatever, but uh, we were just kicking it back and forth on there after that, so uh, check that out as well. Anyway, guys, have a good day, and we'll see you later.